See, of course it would be the edge of glory. Uh, 11 after 10 o'clock, it is 25 degrees. Only one more, well, you know, I've already won it. Believe me, Barbara hasn't got a chance today. It's going back down. I'm not going to go back up again, so I've already got there. It is Thursday, April the 7th, and, uh, well, I tell you what, let me do this. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and I've got to welcome along everybody that's joining us this morning on Facebook Live. It is such a pleasure to have you there. Uh, if you're going to be joining us a little later on over there on YouTube, don't forget, yeah, sub, thumb, bell. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, uh, bell, notifications, absolutely, because we have important people. Uh, get epileptic with the thumb. Go crazy with that. Show us how much you love us, really. And please, please subscribe. Yeah, believe me, it is absolutely the thing to do. And today, I am absolutely elated because a very, very close friend of ours is coming back out of Florida. Uh, but first of all, let me tell you how proud we are to be with Rise Up TV, Big Record, and Sony Music, The Orchard, right here at Galaxy. <laughs> So, who's joining us today? It is not a mystery, believe me. She's been a feature artist this morning on The Breakfast Show. Uh, but just in case you didn't catch it, check this out. Hey! I'm Alex Freeman, and you're listening to Galaxy 107 FM. And of course you are. You really are. She's joining us, coming out of Florida. But first of all, her most requested track right now is Feeling Away. So how are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> very, very cool. I, I did say to you that I was going to do something really, really different. Um... Because the wife actually caught me with this one this morning. I thought it was fantastic. And believe me, uh, she came in and she asked me, would I like something to drink? You know, would I like a Coke or, you know, something fizzy, something like that? And I says, oh, I need half a glass. Because usually I do say half a glass. So she bought me this tiny little glass. All right? Honestly, she did. And then she goes, which half would you like? <laughs> I went, what? <laughs> she goes, I put it in the wa uh, dishwasher this morning and it cracked. Bang. <laughs> the fact that it split like perfectly in the center is so funny. <laughs> that is unreal. So I thought, well, you know, I, I just got to show somebody. So sorry for that. <laughs> that is cool. It really is quite cool. <laughs> How's things going over there with you? Uh, I heard you're really, really busy right now. Got any gigs coming up? Any gigs coming up? Um, well, the ones that I know are in September for New York Fashion Week. I think I also am performing in Miami Fashion Week. Um, and I think that's in June. And then there's a few others that pop up every now and then. Mm -hmm. I'm not really 100% sure on anything right now because, like, in like LA and New York, things are still getting shut down, unlike Florida, because everything's open in Florida somehow. <laughs> and, um, so it's really kind of iffy to know like if everything's going to be like 100%, but um, there's a lot of fun stuff coming up. But I just got signed on as a magazine, as the music section writer of Teen Vibes magazine. And it's so exciting because I get to like write my ideas and like my perspective and everything about like music for teens and I think it's so exciting you know I I just love what you do I'm, I'm a big fan of yours I've got to be honest with you oh by the way uh love to mum and dad too by the way <laughs> you know ne next time you see them uh need some more brain food <laughs> I need some more brain food I'm starting yes. I'm starting to slow down up here. I might need a recharge soon. <laughs> I'm, getting, I over. I'm getting caught with half a glass. Come on. That is so funny. <laughs> Nobody ever catches me.
know it's going to be a good day when you see the staff in the background dancing to the music of the artist that we're interviewing today. Yes, Alex Freeman is joining us. And believe me, it is an absolute pleasure to have you back again, Alex. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I, look, I, I am so excited to be back and uh, talking to you again. It really, really is a pleasure every time we catch up. Uh, but this time you're not in the car. I'm not in the car last time. This time I'm not. Last time I was. I was at the beach and then I was like, oh my god, I gotta go. So we were in the car. But this time we're not. We're all good and everything's been going great. So. You know, the last time I actually got the impression that you were the president's daughter or something, you, you looked that regal. Say that again? Yeah, you look... Oh, you said the president's daughter. I got you. It took me a second. <laughs> you really did look that uh, official. To be very honest with you, <laughs> and absolutely superb, absolutely. Uh, George is joining us, of course, George Prophet. Nice to have you on board, George, uh, and believe me, love, love, love your work. I really, really do. Looking forward to meeting you again in the near future. Now, uh, having said, oh, Terry Van Cannon, hello, brother man, how are you? Nice to have you as well, coming out of North Carolina. Now, uh, we open the show, Alex, with your most requested track which has been feeling away uh, and just before we started this you said to me maybe i should release this yes yeah i did i want to so badly why haven't we done that because i have had so many other songs that i've had that i've been wanting to release and that song i feel like i forget about it and i don't know why i do i've had it since i wrote the song in um late 2020 so it's been two years now and i i want to release it i just forget about it because there's a hundred new songs that i've written so i definitely want to release it and that's something i got to talk to the producer and my parents about because i want to desperately so that's definitely the next thing to talk about to everybody on my list well, Alex, as I said when I opened this up, it is nice to see the staff dancing, uh, which <laughs> doesn't happen often here at Galaxy. It really, really doesn't. Uh, but they love the music so much. And it's indicative of the amount of requests that we get for you and that particular track. It is fantastic. Please, 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 let's release it in the near future. What do you reckon? I agree. I got to find out a release date and I'll send it over to you guys and let you know when it does. Awesome. But in the meantime, i got to be honest, I feel very, very privileged to have it and to be able to play it. Here again, <laughs> I really do. I really do. Uh, now, having said that, uh, let's refresh our audio audience's memory. As a, fan, as a fan, how do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? Are you a talker? But more importantly... <laughs> Do you respond? I try to respond on everything. Um, I am on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. I just started my YouTube channel, and I get to talk about all my favorite music stuff. I talked about the story behind Broken Record, um, and I've been posting as often as I possibly can. And I also have a website. My Instagram is Alex Freeman Official. My TikTok is Alex Freeman Official. YouTube, Alex Freeman Official. And my website is Alex Freeman Rock. So you guys should all definitely go check that out because I think you guys just should. It's super fun. You guys really should. Oh, yeah. And you can follow me on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, wherever. Spotify, Alex Freeman. <laughs> iTunes and Apple Music, Alex Freeman, and everywhere else, Alex Freeman. Now, Alex, uh, uh, did you get that? Alex Freeman, everything, you know, official. Uh, now, <laughs> just got to ask you, though, do you have merch? How do I go and buy merch? How do you go and buy merch? So, currently, I have my merch drop from when Paper Mask first released, and that was in May of last year. So, I have hoodies and T-shirts. They are currently, I believe, only available in size large, but other than that, I have those two things, and hopefully soon I will be doing Broken Record merch. I have not designed any yet, but I really want to, so that's the plan, and you can totally go find all of that in my website under the store section, and you just hit store and buy. Bam, you got it. And that's on alexfreemanrocks.com. That is cool. That covers everything. It really, really does. Now, at the same time, uh, we are talking about uh, new music and everything like that. I'm going to ask her 
very, very shortly if she'll come back again and release new music because we absolutely love, love, love Alex Freeman here. But uh, I also just want to ask you uh, one very, very small thing. Uh, there's a young lady coming out of Palermo, Italy, and she's asking, are you looking at doing any world tours soon? Would you be interested in touring maybe Italy and uh, maybe through the European circuit? I would love to. I want to make sure that, like, the thing is for me, I'm a perfectionist. So when it comes to music and comes to performances, I want everything to be perfect. And I get so stressed out if it's not. And I'm like, it wasn't even worth performing. So, like, if I mess up, I'm a mess. So what I do is, like, I practice forever, I sing everything 10,000 times, and then I'm ready. And, like, once I'm, like, ready to go, I am ready to go. So I need to practice a little bit, get everything, get a set together, and then I would 100% do a world tour. Like, I would love to do a world tour. Now, uh, I, I got a pretty much the same question from two ladies here. One's called Elizabeth, one's uh, called Diane, uh, one coming out of uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, the other one coming out of... Uh, out of Alaska, actually, uh, they both pretty much asking the same question, and that is, just before you go on stage, let's set the scene here, uh, bands on, you know, the lighting, the effects, everything's going, just before you hit that stage, do you get the butterflies? Do you get a bit nervous? It really depends on the event. I think that the smaller the event, the more nerve-wracking it is, because... You're more, like, I feel like you're more likely to see the people in the room again. So, like, what if I, like, I am not happy with the note, and they hear, and they know I'm not good at, like, that note wasn't good. Like, it stresses me out, and they're, and they're like, oh, my God, I can see them again. Like, that's stressful. I did a performance um, recently, actually, it was in December, and I opened for a concert of 80,000 people, and I did not feel nervous. I mean, I sang my song, but I sang the song backstage like 30 times because it was the national anthem. And like, if you mess that up, like you're dead. So I was like, I'm too, I'm too young in my career to mess this up. So I made sure that I got all the lyrics right, everything. And then I went on and I wasn't nervous, but I feel like it really depends on the venue and the event and who's there and everything going on. But I typically don't, unless if it's a smaller venue. Yeah, believe me, I am right there with you. <laughs> uh, I'm very, very comfortable in, you know, in front of maybe 50 to 120,000 people, no worries. Uh, but once somebody asked me to do a, um, a speech, would you believe? Now, I, I actually am very comfortable doing speeches. I, I have my master's in that. Uh, but <laughs> this was to a group of older people, uh, retirees. And not only that, they were retiree business people. Uh, a average age was 70 plus, right? And, right. and there was like about, uh, maybe about 30, 40 of these people, and no music was involved. So that really took me out of the game right away, to be honest with you. <laughs> and they wanted, the, they wanted me to talk about, you know, having a radio station, owning a radio station, how we make it all work, everything like that, and how we entertain people. So yeah. believe me, I actually got a couple of guests and... Uh, via Skype as well to be able to assist me with this from different artists from around the world. But right. believe me, very, very difficult thing to do. The worst thing was uh, my best friend at the time says to me, you know, Grant, don't worry about it. Just think that they're all naked. <laughs> yes! That made ice cream curdle. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That was the most... Mm, time that I could ever imagine, to be very honest with you. I'm going, put me back in front of a hundred thousand people, please. Do it now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I can relate to that. I really, really can. Uh, and, and I don't mean to be going on like a broken record, but, uh, well, you know, uh, it's about time we spoke about broken records, I think. Tell me about this brand spanking new song, Alex Freeman, Broken Record. Tell me all about it. Okay, Broken Record is a really fun song that I really loved writing. I mean, it's not technically a fun song because it's kind of a sad song, but it's upbeat, so it makes it feel fun, you know what I mean? So I, um, I really enjoyed writing this song because it was the first time as an artist, being a young artist, that nobody else wanted to 
override my ideas and opinions. And so I have complete creative control. I am a co-producer, a co-writer, obviously the artist, and I helped release the song. Everything to do with the song, I did. And I thought it was so exciting because I got to be able to control what I wanted to have creative control over the song. And it's so exciting. And the song, I feel like it's a very vulnerable song because it was talking about something that was going on in my life at the time where I I was had this relationship that was like in and out and all over. It was no we were not on the right like wavelength or frequency or whatever because Every word and every, like, what I say in the song is every note is out of tune when it comes to you and I. Like, you're playing a chord, and, like, that chord, like, six, like, every single note of that chord, you're hitting the wrong one, you're like, ah! Like, that's, that's the vibe, and I feel like I get to put that into, like, musical terms, because that's what makes sense to me. So I am able to, like, throw that in, and then, like, a broken record, I feel like that's such a cool way to say, like... It's not working. Like, the record is bruised and damaged and cut and scarred. Like, everything's wrong with it. But you keep going back. And thankfully now, this is not the situation. But at the time, it was. Now, I wrote about what happened. And I love the fact that I can look back at this song and be like, wow, this is what happened. And this is how I resolved it. And this was a turning point for me to be like, i got to end this thing. Like, this is not going good. <laughs> so... That I really love this song, and it's so exciting to me to be able to release it and play it and have other people listen to it. You know something? It is gaining traction now. I've got to be honest with you, Alex. We have played it a number of times, and but we just didn't say anything, okay? Just played it. Watch. Okay. It's like dipping the toe in the water, you know what I mean? I want to know what the temperature's like, so we thought we'd give it a run. And then another run, then another run, then it started appearing as a request and more requests. And now I'm playing it pretty much constantly in the breakfast show. I've got to be honest with you, it is gaining traction. So believe me, it is time to tell you exactly who is singing Broken Record. Here's Alex Freeman. Hi, I'm Alex Freeman, and you're listening to Galaxy 107 FM. <laughs> Loving it. What are you drinking? I have water. Oh, non-alcoholic stuff. No, I'm not old enough. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned 15, but not old enough. Really? That's interesting. Uh, Alex, I just got handed a note. Um, the statistician has said that there is 514 countries online Whoa. and 658 cities around the world listening to what we're doing right now really that's crazy 514 countries fantastic that's amazing <laughs> 658 cities i love that i do thank you for that ah dear oh dear oh dear, oh dear. <clears throat> it's hot in here yes and it's unseasonably hot to be honest and i win hey everyone the temperature it's not going to get any hotter than 26 like I see. <laughs> Barbara goes 27. Go 27. No, it doesn't. It's not going to go 27. Go 28. <laughs> go 28. You're going 28, are you? Good luck to you. <laughs> Alex, why did the turkey cross the road? Why? Tell me. To prove it wasn't chicken. <gasps> Very smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, I'm bringing out dad jokes now. Look at that. I'll end up looking like Mark Wahlberg one of these days. <laughs> that dude is a master of dad jokes. He really is. <clears throat> so, what do you think of the... Um, <clears throat> thing that's happening oh no we don't have time I, I won't ask that question we're 19 seconds <laughs> Okay, 
That's right. You're right, Eric Galaxy. 107 FM, and today I'm absolutely elated to catch up with a good friend of ours, Alex Freeman, coming out of Florida. And uh, I think you're more closer to um, uh, to Disneyland than you are to uh, Jacksonville, aren't you? I am, yes. Jacksonville's about two hours, and Disney is about 45. Okay, uh, because believe me, uh, I'm actually... Uh, one of these days, I'm actually going to go to Jacksonville. I've actually got a band over there that I'm going to be associating with. Uh, in fact, I've got to be honest with you, I kind of talked myself into a date, which is kind of a worry. I've got, I've got to be honest with you, it really is. I think I might need a chaperone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but, uh, yeah, literally over in Jacksonville, there's a place called Daly's Place over there. Uh, they have some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful entertainment as far as bands and everything go. Uh, but I'm not actually going there for that. I want to go and see the wrestling. The wrestling? Yeah. That's, that's what yeah, there's a, a company called AEW, and uh, they wrestle out of uh, Daly's Place in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, oh. Also, Universal Studios as well. They have a couple of places that they do it from, if you know what I mean. So, uh yeah, I'd love to be able to go and check it out. The only thing is, uh, I don't know whether I can trust her. Hmm. Mm, that's why I'm saying I might need a chaperone. What do you reckon? You, you reckon uh, you and your bodyguard father might be able to come and join us? I think I totally could. I think my father might even tell you that it would be awesome. I like that idea. I really, really do. Uh, now, getting away from all that sort of stuff... <laughs> Uh, we were talking at the start of this that you have hundreds of, uh, you, you know, unfinished work. Let's put it that way. Uh, so does that, are you telling me that maybe, just maybe, you'll come back again, you'll release more new music with us? Yes. <laughs> that really makes my day. It really does make my day. Because believe me, it's always, always, always a pleasure to catch up with you, Alex. It really is. Great. Thank you so much. I, I have so much fun talking with you guys and being able to talk about my songs and catch up with you guys. It's so great. So I appreciate you guys so much. Well, we appreciate you too. And please, please, please don't stop doing what you're doing, will you? I never will, I promise. That is so cool. At least I'm going to have another job for another year or so if she keeps on doing this. <laughs> uh, well, you see, I need artists to be able to continue being employed. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, true. Very, very true. So I applaud what you do. I really, really do. I just wish I could do it as well. I really do. Uh, and <laughs> believe it, oh, look, I sing ten up, or maybe, yeah, yeah maybe, maybe ten, maybe twelve miles away from anybody that can hear me. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> In the meantime, you're right, you're a galaxy. Don't go anywhere. Like, you know what we're going to do next. Uh, but in the meantime, we're very, very happy to say how we're associated with, with Rise Up TV, Big Record, and of course, Sony Music, the Orchard, the distributors, right here at Galaxy. Another indie artist and you brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, and Sony Music, the Orchard.